All right, welcome into the Dupe Podcast. This is Zero, formerly known as the Union Podcast here on my channel. Just changed the name there um, to the Dupe. And we're going to talk about this insane comeback by the Union against Atlanta United today. Um, now, I was at work during the game. I was keeping up with it on my phone. And obviously, I came home and rushed home and got the uh, the highlights. But, you know, I saw the Union had gone down one nothing to an own goal, then 2 nothing, And I was like, ah. So I kind of figured they were going to lose this game here in Atlanta. Then, you know, I went on my break and I saw uh, Burke had just scored right away after Atlanta got their second goal to make it 2-1. Um, to one. I thought, well, you know, maybe they'll, they'll come back. I don't know if they'll get any chances. It was killing me not being able to watch the game. I was following along the timeline at work. And then um, I saw Glessness tied it up in like the 93rd minute. And I was like, oh my goodness, uh, what a comeback. So I get home, I watch the highlights of this game, guys. Insane. So let's go over these highlights. Um, let me talk about the game from what I saw, just based off of the highlights anyways. Um, so Atlanta, you know, we're getting some chances in the first half for sure, creating things as they usually do. Marino, uh, and a few chances here and there for them, getting shots in on Blake. Nothing too scary uh, yet. But then uh, I saw Anthony Fontana had a really good chance. I think it was set up by, um, I think it was uh, Sergio Santos. Fontana was in the starting lineup today, and he had a chance right in there. Guzon made a good save, but really Fontana should be finishing that. It was a good layoff by uh, Santos right into the path of Fontana. who was crashing in the box like he usually does, and Guzan came out to meet him and, and batted it away. But really Fontana's got to put that in. That would have made it one nothing Union. So you go to the second half, and Atlanta starts pressing early on in the second half, for sure getting some shots in, getting possession. Um, then off a corner kick, uh, Shilbilko heads it into his own goal. Now, it looked kind of funky. I think he thought Elliott was going to get a piece of it because Elliott jumped right in front of him, didn't get the ball, and it kind of came off like the back of Shobilko's head, kind of like flicked it on into the back post. Nothing Andre Blake could do about it. But uh, it looks like, from my perspective, from what I saw, it looked like uh, Casper thought Jake Elliott was certainly going to, you know, Jake Elliott, Jack Elliott was certainly going to get a, um, a head to it. Um, so it really was no fault of his. It's just one of those unfortunate things that happened. Um, and then Atlanta, you know, they, they came uh, flying again and got another goal in the 83rd minute off of the cross. Uh, Anton Walks heading it in over, um, I think, Corey Berkey beat in the air. It was a good header into the upper corner. Not really a chance for Blake on that one. 2 nothing. you think game over. You know, at that point when I saw the score at work, I thought game over. But uh, right away, right after Atlanta scores, uh, Philadelphia come down the, uh, the field. Get a shot off. I think it was who was it? Was it Montero? Maybe took the shot. Guzan made the save, but did not clear it out. Left a juicy rebound and credit Corey Burke, who crashed in there on the shot like a good striker does. You crash in when there's a shot in case there's a rebound like that. He crashed in, put it in. No chance for Guzan on the rebound. Made it two to one. Game on. And uh, then the Union continued to press and press, and in stoppage time, they worked the ball around. Montero fed it into the middle for uh, Glessness, who just absolutely rips one. you got to see this goal. you got to Google it right now or watch the highlights on MLSsoccer.com. Jacob Glessness with his second banger for the Union. He scored a banger last year against uh, LAFC off a free kick. This was from open play, absolutely hammering it in to the upper corner no chance for Guzan the thing was so powerful it hit the bar went down to the ground came back up hit the bar again went down to the ground came back up hit the bar for the third time it went over the line on two of the bounces the first bounce it went in so it actually crossed the line twice um it was just so powerful there was no I think if Guzan even was in front of that shot it would have taken him into the net with it uh, it was insane, like just a rip. We've seen him rip shots before, obviously last year with that goal. This one is just uh, another level. Just no goalie in the world is going to stop this shot. It was insane. From open play, you know, Atlanta didn't really close him down. I didn't think they were going to expect him to just rip one from that distance considering, you know, we were trying to press for a tying goal. Maybe we were looking for a more high percentage chance. Um but my goodness, what a strike by Glessness and the Union escape with a 2-2 tie in Atlanta. Definitely I'll take a tie on the road in Atlanta. 
tough place to play. You know, that big crowd there, passionate crowd, a very talented Atlanta team. Um, a little bit underachieving, though. You know, we've had their number lately. So, insane. Just really pumped. We return home to play the Columbus Crew next. We know are the defending champions, and they're starting to get going. They got off to a slow start this season, but they are getting going. Then after that, we go on the road for three games. I think it's uh, ooh, Nashville's one of them. Uh, let me see. Chicago, Nashville, and New York on the road. Three straight after that. So we come home on, uh, looks like Wednesday night against Columbus. And then we don't come back home until the 17th of July against D.C. United. So uh, it's going to be almost a month away from Subaru Park there in between games there. So uh, big game against Columbus. Got to gotta win that game, really, because you're going to go on the road. You don't know what can happen. Chicago's not good. You expect to get something there. Nashville, always a tough team. The Red Bulls are, are rivals. Um, we've had their number a bit lately, so hopefully we can keep that going. Uh, looking forward to watching some of those games if I can. But, um, yeah, it's a very important game against Columbus. This was a big result. Union could have easily lost this game. They could have put their heads down at the second goal, but they didn't. They fought back. Jim Curtin's side, full of spirit here, getting that big point. Could be a big point uh, going forward. Uh, New England continues to win. They're, they're five points up in the conference. As I said at the beginning, guys, New England is so good. They um, I'm predicting them to actually win the Cup. Uh, they just have a lot of depth, well-coached, lots of talent. Probably the best attacking mid in the league right now in um, Carlos Hill. I think I honestly think he's the best number 10 in the league right now. Um, maybe you could have said it was Ladero before a few years ago, uh, or Pozuelo, or whoever, even Vela, but I think Carlos Hill is just on another level right now, creating things every game. Yeah, uh, so when New England play, I mean when Philly plays them, they gotta watch out, obviously, for for him and company and Gustavo Bo and and the likes. But good result from the Union. Um, they just gotta keep it going. Uh, another thing to mention here: Union just signed defender Alvis Powell, Jamaican international. It's a good pickup, former uh, Portland Timbers player. Um, he's a defender, right back by trade. He's basically a b backup for Bizo. In case something happens to him, you know, we got stuff Champions League coming up. We got a lot of big games in the league. So this is pretty much a pretty much a safety guard for, for, for Baizo. If something happens to him, we can know we can slot in Alvis Powell. I think it's a great pickup. He's twenty six years old, still in his prime. Um, he's he's got tons of league experience. He's got international experience with Jamaica. He his style of play really suits ours. He's good at getting up in the attack. I think he's just a great pickup. It's just a depth piece. I don't expect to see him too often unless Baizo does get hurt. Um, but, you know, it's a really good pickup for us, I, you know, in case something does happen to him. I don't want anything to happen to Baizo. He's playing really good this season. He's really developing into a very, very strong right back, uh, following in the footsteps of Sir Ray Gaddis, of course, the club legend. Because, um, you know, other than that, we just have Nathan Harriel, who's, a, you know, a homegrown, doesn't have any experience here. So we need a little bit of experience on there. We, nice to see um, uh, Paxton Aronson got a game in their last time out. And uh, who else came in today? That was a home growing of somebody else. Jack McGlynn, nice to see him as well. He got another rep in there coming off the bench. I really like him a lot. So Curtin, as we said, not afraid to play his home growing. Matt Real coming in late as well. Um, Fontana getting the start. So very good for the Union. Uh, I, let's just see this game against Columbus. It's going to be tough, a quick turnaround, but they had a long break with the international break, so no excuses right now. you got to get the job done uh, against Columbus. I know that they're rolling right now, but uh, we need we need some goals. We need Santos to start scoring goals. He has not been scoring. Uh, I think he has. Did he score one? I think he might have scored one this year. I can't remember. I think it was one. Not this game, but the previous game. Um, uh, Burke's doing well. He's got a couple goals. Obviously, Shabilko's doing well. Glessness has two goals this season. Uh, nothing bigger than that one he just got. It's going to be goal of the week, perhaps goal of the year in MLS. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be up for goal of the year, if anything. It's just absolutely incredible. Um, so, yeah, we really need, like, a Fontana to start scoring. Maybe Gazdag can get some games in there and get going. He wasn't uh, with the team 
today, but um, he should be returning hopefully soon. And uh, he can, you know, hopefully start scoring some goals, getting some assists in there. We'll see what he can really do. He got a, you know, got a bit of a cameo in his his one appearance so far, so we don't really know how he's going to fit in yet. But he looks like he's got a good engine. Still loving Leon Flock in there. and um, I think Jose Martinez was away for this game too. I think he was with the Venezuelan national team still. Um, I, I think Gaztag might have been with Hungary. I'm not sure. Don't don't quote me on that. He might have been with the Hungary national team. I don't know. But so we were down a couple of players there today. And obviously, Elsino is still injured. Uh, it's so weird having him out all this time. You forget about him. If he was healthy, he's a huge boost off the bench. We don't really have much for offense off the bench but Corey Burke right now. But he's providing goals off the bench. He's doing really well for us this year. Um I knew he was going to score goals uh, this season. Like I said, I wasn't be surprised if he was going to lead our team in scoring this year. Honestly, he's uh, we, we've seen before he can put the ball in the net. So um, that gives us three Jamaicans on the team now: Corey Burke, of course, Andre Blake, and Alvis Powell. So we're getting that Jamaican connection going here. I like it. Um, so that's going to do it, guys. Short podcast today, the Duke podcast. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome in. If you're a Union fan, please, please. Leave some comments in there. Let me know you're listening and what you think of what's going on this season with the Union. Um, I like doing this on my channel, even though not a lot of people listen to it yet. And uh, I haven't really been able to connect with too many Union fans yet. But that's what I'm hoping for at some point. But I do love talking about this. If you guys are wondering, you know, a team maybe to follow in MLS, follow the Union. Listen to my podcast every every time I do this. Uh, it kind of just happens when I feel like it, when I think there's something to talk about. It's not a weekly thing, um, but I'm trying to do this ever so often to talk, and I'm always happy to, to answer comments if you guys have some in there. So without further ado, I will be leaving you. I, um, I, will, I will bid you adieu. So um, thanks for listening, everybody. I do appreciate all the support on the channel in any shape or form. Until next time, zero is the number, and go Union.